In this video, I'm going to be telling you about one of my favourite Windsor running shoes, the Saucony Triumph Run Shield. What is up, everybody, and welcome to Winter Shoe Heaven here at 40 Runs. Now, if you're new to the channel, I do like a good winter running shoe. Uh, and I was super happy when the guys at Saucony, uh, big shout out to them, sent me through the Run Shield version of the Triumph. And actually, let's get that out of the way. Uh, Saucony are paying me to make this video. They've got no idea I'm making this video or anything like that. So just uh, full transparency as always. But they sent me through the Triumph uh, Run Shield, which I'm super excited about. Why? Because I'm a big fan of the Triumph 20. So if you've not seen any of the videos, uh, I've really been liking the Triumph 20 this year. They've really, I think Saucony have just nailed it this year. Uh, I know I'm a bit of a Saucony junkie and I apologise for that, but this year I think they've just absolutely killed it. But the Saucony Triumph for me is, I wouldn't say taken over from the Glide Ride because uh, you fans of the show will know that I absolutely love the Glide Ride, especially the Glide Ride 3. But the Triumph has a little sort of piece of the garage for those longer runs. It's, it's sitting there and it's ready to go as we get into the longer miles for marathon training. Now I was super excited when uh, I found out they were doing a run shoot version of these because winter marathons training's here uh, and the Glide Ride 3 doesn't come in a uh, winterized version which um, left me with a bit of a problem because um, I wanted a, um, an easy long run shoe with some winterized or weatherizedness to it. So for that early part of marathon training when we are up and down the towpaths here, I needed something with a little bit of protection while we're out there. Um, so that's why I'm excited to have the Triumph Run Shield on the channel. Okay, so uh, the Run Shield version here, I've got the sort of non-Run Shield version. Um, and there's a few differences um, between the two, but more probably on the top part of the shoe, but I will get onto the midsole as well. But we've got a sort of weatherized upper on the shoe. They've also, I think, and I'm not sure if this is right or not, but they've definitely thickened out um, in the, where well, you put your foot bit, don't know what it's called, um, but it definitely feels that little bit warmer in there, which is nice. Um, so yeah, we've got a sort of weatherized upper on it, uh, so your foot is warmer, which is what you'd want. The overall fit feels the same, it's still a 10 mil drop. It's, you can actually get it for 132 pounds at the moment, but on the Saucony website, I think it's about 165 pounds. I wrote the weight down, um, 320 grams versus 291 for the, uh, let's call it the original. We've still got probably the most pointless pull tab on the back. We've got reflective elements on the shoe, which is good news. Fits true to size. This is a UK nine and a half for me, so no problems on there. We've got a very, very nice outsole on this shoe. Very grippy, very... Yeah, you can feel it biting in those... Uh, I don't know where, where you're living, but there's still loads of leaves on the floor and stuff like that. Um, and even on some of the gravelly paths, this is you can feel this biting into the road, which is really, really nice. And then we've got the outs, um, the midsole. So we've still got Power Run PB Plus. Uh, no, sorry, Power Run Plus. It's not Power Run PB Plus. It's Power Run Plus. Um, but like all the Run Shield shoes, it's a little bit softer. So yeah, if I compare the two compounds, which are, I mean, this is probably the most ridiculous way of doing you know where you just squeeze midsoles to show you know, whatever but that is definitely more squidgy than that um but it's it's more of the underfoot you really do feel that little bit more compression in this shoe versus that shoe so um we are oh, what a mileage in it oh, god knows but we're, i've been wearing these a lot um ever since we got and we will do a comparison of this versus the 1080 but ever since i sort of done a bit with the 1080 and got where i need that to so we could do that video i then moved on to these um but i've just have you been using them for everything basically we've not gone particularly long in them because marathon training has not come into full swing yet so i wouldn't say i've gone particularly long in them where and that's where i'm going to probably use the shoe and uh, watch the comparison video of this versus the 1080 because um there is a reason for that um in terms of what we're using the shoes for but yeah i've not got particularly long in it but i've you know i've done like an eight mile run in it i think um something like that in terms of the overall distance might be a bit longer but about, about eight miles in terms of uh, total distance for that run um again i don't know my combined mileage in the shoe but it's well over 25 miles uh in this shoe but my point is is that 
I've enjoyed all of it and I've enjoyed being able to do the easiest stuff in it. I've been able to pick up the pace a little bit. We did a run the other day and we dropped it to sort of seven and a half minute miles um, through one part of the run and this, you know, soaked it up and took it real nice. So um, the shoe, despite it being heavy, is probably an unfair uh, way to describe it, but a little bit chubby, should we say, um, versus some of the other shoes. It's able to cope with everything that I've thrown at it so far. So for me, like I said, I'm gonna be using this on the initial sort of long runs in my marathon training, um, you know, where I'm going out there, trying to get the mileage through the legs, not doing any uh, particular goal pace work or anything like that on those runs. The medium distance runs, I've seen like eight miles, um, is a perfect example of that sort of distance in marathon training. But during the winter months, because I've got the sort of protection to a degree, I, you know, you can argue like always with these videos, are oh, weather ice shoes, winter ice shoes, pointless. You can say, yes, they are. But I do like having a little bit of protection in here because of where I run. So for me, this is going to do a, a, a great job alongside, a bit of a spoiler, alongside the 1080. But say, watch the comparison video that we do. Um, but they're, they're both going to work well in the marathon training over the winter months. And then as we come out uh, into the spring, then I'll be obviously using these less and less. Um, but for me, they're here. I'm super proud, um, super proud, super pleased they're here to be able to use in my marathon training. So in terms of the ride, just to finish off, um, it's, it's, yeah, it, it is a little bit springier than the um, sort of original version. Uh, but that does, if you've got that version, you'll find like I have, the more you run in it, the, 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 the more responsive it gets. The foam, uh, when you first put it on, is not as responsive as like, a, and rightly so, it's like a power on PB. But the more you run in it, it does come to you. This with that extra little bit of softness immediately feels that little bit more bouncy, but it's, it's more, it gives you the confidence about cruising around and holding pace and just covering miles, which I think is what you want from the Triumph. It's there to sort of eat miles. It's a, it's a plush daily trainer that can just eight miles so yeah i think the ride's great um nice heel to toe transition it doesn't have the speed bulk technology in the shoe uh, but you still do get a bit of a nice uh, movement from heel to toe which is just it's noticeable but overall the compound feels good the upper is warm but i don't mind that it's colder now here in the uk the outsole like i said is brilliant for me on the work that i've been doing with it and yeah i can't really compliment the shoe more than i have and at 132 quid which i've seen it for i think for a winter running shoe if you're you know doing marathon training this is really one to have a look at guys it really really is so that's it from me Socony triumph 20 run shield i definitely think if you're looking for a winter running shoe especially if you've got marathon training this is one to have a look at